When you first obtain a managed PKI for SSL account, one of the first steps to review is the configuration menu of your account. We understand that every organization operates differently, and so we provide these options to help better tailor and customize your account in detail, the way you like it. Take note that only those with the security and configuration administrator roles will have access in configuring their account. Let's take a look at configuring the enrollment page now. Under Select Certificate Types to Offer, you can customize what your certificate applicants are offered during enrollment. Note that the applicant's enrollment page, also known as the subscriber's enrollment page, is different from what you, as an administrator to the account, can enroll for. You can also set the default certificate type that shows on the drop-down menu when an applicant enrolls for a certificate. Being the administrator to the account, you are to be the first point of contact for any technical support your applicants need. Here you want to enter an email address where your clients can contact you for any additional support. We understand that you may not be able to answer all technical questions for your applicants, but please note that you as the administrator or other administrators to the account are the only authorized representatives to open support tickets with Symantec's technical support teams. We also offer different languages for the subscribers' enrollment pages to which you may select the language here. Some administrators like to customize the account name that displays on the enrollment pages. You can enter your own here or use the default set for your account. For further customized instructions during enrollment for your organization, you can add some additional instructions that your applicants may need to know before or after completing the enrollment form. Sometimes you want additional information of the applicant other than their name and email address. These fields are available for you to create your own custom fields for the applicants to enter during enrollment. Some organizations prefer a shorter or longer validity period for all their certificates. The lifecycle option gives you the ability to set which validity periods are available to your applicants. You can even give them the ability to request a specific end date as well. However, note that a full certificate unit still applies if an applicant uses this option and specifies an end date of less than one year. You can give your applicants the ability to revoke their own certificates. However, be cautious when giving your applicants this ability. Once a certificate has been revoked, it is not possible to unrevoke the certificate and a new or replacement certificate would then be needed. During a renewal of a certificate, selecting this option gives the applicant the ability to select a different certificate product. For example, if the applicant is renewing a certificate and wants to change it from a standard SSL certificate to an EV premium SSL certificate, this option makes it possible. Enabling the registered domain list will appear on the main landing page for enrollments. With this option enabled, applicants can know beforehand which domains they may use for their certificate enrollments. When SANS is enabled for your account, subject alternative names can be added to your certificates. SANS are additional names that can be secured on a single certificate. Take note that SANS can be added either by the CSR generated on the server or by entering the names on the enrollment form. Note, however, that the CSR SANS will always take precedence over the SANS field on the form. Also being an administrator of the account, one of your primary roles is to approve certificates for your applicants. However, you may come across times that you will be enrolling for certificates yourself. You as the administrator may find it tedious to approve your own certificate enrollments. When enabled, this last option will automatically approve any enrollments made by administrators within your account. When you have confirmed all the selections you wish to configure, don't forget to click the submit button here at the end. Watch more of our videos where we go over many other features and benefits available from using a managed PKI for SSL account. For further troubleshooting and support, please visit our support pages at semantic.com forward slash help.